My name is Craig Heinzman, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Arifu. I started Arifu together with Marissa Conway in order to be able to get information and opportunity in reach of everyone. That's really our shared vision for the company. And we just saw that there are billions of people that lack access to information and, and skills and tools to be able to solve their toughest problems and to grow their businesses. So, um, and it's no longer a lack of technology or the availability of content. Uh, it just requires somebody bringing it all together into a meaningful solution. Arifu's built a digital learning advisor. You can think about it like a chatbot that anybody can speak to through any mobile device they've got, whether they've got a basic phone with no internet or whether they have a smartphone with WhatsApp. They can chat to Arifu and they can learn skills and information brought to them by uh, a whole ecosystem of our partners that are bringing information on entrepreneurship, uh, farming, livelihoods, uh, health and information about how to support the health and safety of your family. Uh, this ecosystem is growing and we're plugging in different businesses, NGOs, content providers into this ecosystem uh, so that everybody will be able to learn. Our customers are NGOs, companies of all sizes that are having trouble delivering information and training effectively and at scale, affordably. Uh, equally, to be able to design effective digital content that actually leads to learning outcomes for audiences like smallholder farmers or small businesses or young people in informal settlements requires a bit of expertise and a deep understanding of who those individuals are and what their needs are. Our teams work face-to-face uh, -face and sometimes through uh, digital devices to communicate with those individuals, understand them better, and use that insight to be able to create really effective content uh, so that our partners are going to be, at the end of the day, be happy with what they're, what they're buying. So we've focused on a few different sectors. Ultimately, uh, as long as the topic is having an impact in someone's life and there's a business case behind it for our partners, that's an area of interest for us. We focused initially really on agriculture and financial services. In the agricultural space, you have a, a large number of smallholder farmers that need to know a lot of information. So we help get that information to them and connect them with organizations that are interested in providing them with inputs like fertilizer or seeds. In the financial space, you have individuals, two billion people who are unbanked, uh, don't have access to formal financial sector uh, products. We connect them with banks where they can be learning about financial literacy, how to save and borrow responsibly, and make use of digital credit products. Well, in the next few years, uh, we're gonna go from being an Africa-focused uh, organization with operations in seven countries to being able to support uh, learning opportunities between organizations and individuals uh, across the continent, as well as out in Asia, Latin America, and the Middle East. These are our, our primary areas of interest. And the product, uh, if you think about it like a Siri or an Alexa uh, that you can chat to through WhatsApp or SMS and at some point through voice, that product is going to get smarter and smarter and better able to understand the needs of each individual user and the challenges that they're, that they're trying to solve uh, in order to deliver a much more personalized, much more natural language uh, learning experience. So we think conversational learning is going to be a huge part of the future in making information available to everybody that needs it. From a product standpoint, the vision is very much uh, to imagine a scenario where if you're speaking to a Rifu by voice or through chat, you should be able to say anything in whatever language you speak, uh, in whatever way you communicate effectively and say, hey Rifu, I've got a problem. A Rifu should be intuitively responding to you, asking you about your problem, uh, and then analyzing what you're saying in order to then match you up with highly personalized information and education, as well as getting you information about products and services that you can use to be able to solve those particular problems. So we look at that being transformative both in a single moment where there's a question on your mind, but also over a lifetime uh, where you're going to be going through challenges and building businesses and growing your family. Uh, Arifu should be able to be there for you throughout the whole journey.